Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Sun Valley Tech. Today, we're going to be chasing down the infamous Harley Twin Cam Valve Tick. A lot of guys have spent a lot of money trying to figure this out with different lifters, different push rods, different cams, different valve springs, and different oil weights, and a lot of them, they just have not figured it out. Uh, there is... There are two companies where the guys actually have think they figured it out. Um, and we're going to see if it works on this bike. Um, the, what it turns out is the, if, if the shafts here that hold the rocker arms fit loosely on the bolts right here. These bolts are actually supposed to hold these shafts in place so they don't turn. But the thing is, they don't. You've probably seen the videos where the guys do this before and they rock them back and forth just like I am right now. That'll make some noise, especially after the engine warms up because this aluminum is going to expand a little bit greater rate than this steel will. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this bike's doing it too because um, one of the things they show is if you look at the bolt, it might be kind of hard to see here, but I'm going to do my best. But it does have the witness, there it is, it does have the witness marks on it where that, where that shaft's been rocking back and forth on it. Pretty sure that's where the noise is coming from, and it makes sense. I mean, it wouldn't be too noisy right now because everything's cold. But as soon as my bike warms up, between about eh, 1,800, 3,000, it gets noisy. No matter what load situation it's under either. It's just at that RPM if I got the clutch pulled in, got the clutch out, got it full throttle, it doesn't matter. I can hear it. While we're in there, we're going to go ahead and service the breathers. I have the stuff here to do that, the new filter and valve and gaskets and stuff. Um, and uh, I'll let you know if that did the trick for me. Uh, in the meantime, though, um, I'm not going to say the names of the companies that did it because I don't want to play favorites here. Uh, but a quick Google check and you'll find it. Just look for the... Uh, the uh, fix for the the clicking sound um, and you'll run across their kits um, but anyway um, thanks for watching and I'll get back to you with an engine running here in a few seconds welcome back uh, last time we were talking I told you maybe I'd have an engine running I lied because um, there's something I want to show you um, on how these uh, go in there the uh, kit that I specifically chose is called the rock out rocker shaft insert um, get them on Amazon and three got mine uh, made in USA all that good stuff I don't know about the other one I'm not knocking the other guy that's out here out there I just haven't tried his um, might be just as good I don't know um, but what I want to show you is um, when you get everything together on these uh, it's gonna look like that if you look real close there you can see the You'll see that the uh, liner goes in there to stop these shafts from rocking. I totally get how that works. I mean, it's not, it's not anything out of this world or amazing. The reason why you want to take the rocker, uh, the rockers off the engine to do this, is because now these bolts aren't going to fit in there loose either, like they did from the factory. And so what's going to happen is, is this whole thing is going to center up um, based on these new things. So you need to have all these other bolts out. Um, when you're putting these in, um, the guy shows these on his instructions, and I agree wholeheartedly with this. Make sure your shafts are lined up with your bolt holes. Don't use any tools or anything like that to try to start this, this um, insert in there. Use your thumb. If you can't get it to go with your thumb, stop. You're not lined up. You're going to mess up the insert. Once you get it down this far is where this one's at, then you can go ahead and put your original bolt through it and the nut and washer that he gave you and pull it the rest of the way through. And then you're done. Um, will it stop the noise on this? I don't know. I'll tell you here. Um, just keep watching um, or either post to this video and ask me and I'll let you know if it uh, took it out. Otherwise, the weather's getting so bad I can't really ride the bike. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put it all back together. Otherwise, thanks for watching this episode of Sim Valley Tech. 